I was at my uh, favorite store, Anchor Electronics, and uh, I bought some things. Um, I bought some, uh, sorry about the washing machine in the background. I bought some things for the um, uh, chip of the day. Uh, there was this nice uh, kit here for five dollars. It has all kinds of uh, Texas instrument parts. Uh, op amps, A to D's, D to A's, interface chips, logic, power, references. It was like a kit you got from from, uh, from uh, Texas Instruments. So I picked that up. I picked up some other goodies. This will be chips of the day. This will be chips of the day. And then they gave me a pen. This is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so it's got uh, centimeters and inches. It's got a built-in uh, built level. Uh, it's got a a rotary rotary thing where the pen pen sticks out. Uh, but the best part is, can you read that? It says anchorelectronics.com. So you too can get one of these if you spend more than a hundred dollars. <laughs> so go into the store, spend a hundred bucks, get a free pen. Uh, such a deal, such a deal. Anyway, the reason I was doing the video today is a box that I bought, um, a big box. So let me rearrange the camera. Yeah, so look at this. We got a switch on it. Look at that. We can switch it to lots of, lots of different things. 20 bucks as is. Uh, such a deal. So, uh, if people remember, I built a, um, where is it? Yeah, it's over there somewhere. Um, I built a box that has a several different um, resistors in it, uh, some, some load resistors. Where's my box? I don't know, my box is around somewhere. But anyway, somebody else had done this at their point in their place of work or home, maybe, I don't know. Uh, yeah, take a look at this. Um, the load box, uh, 15 positions, 0.5 ohms through 100 ohms and open. Um, I don't know, maybe this is a prototype? They were gonna build one for a product? I don't, I don't think so, I think somebody just decided to have fun with it. So yeah, 0 0.5, 0 0.751, 152, 3, 4, 6, 10, 15, 20, 30, 50, 100 ohms, and then an open position. Um, and check this out. The bottom is all heat sink. It's one big giant heat sink on the bottom. <laughs> oh man. Just the heat sink alone is like $100. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't, I've never seen such a big heat sink. Wow. That is pretty big. It's got some standoff feet on it. So it gets nice airflow underneath. Uh, it's got cooling holes in the, in the box. So yeah. Um, so over here, can you read this? Uh, 50 watt max. Here's the resistors and here's what their values were, 0 0.53, 0 0.78, and then um, plus 0 0.03 ohm error. I don't know what that's all about. But yeah, this is, uh, this is cool stuff. I like it. Uh, maybe we should, maybe we should measure it. I don't know why it has double, uh, maybe it's sense and, I think those are probably just wired together, but uh, yeah, let's get out a, uh, something to measure this with. All right, let's, uh, it's at a 10, what does this say over here? It says 10.02, 10 10.06. Yeah, we'll see if the, we should measure it with a real fancy thing someday, but uh, yeah, so it starts out at uh, 0.5. Starts out at 0 0.5 and I'm getting 0.7. I'm gonna wiggle the, oh, there we go, wiggle the, wiggle, probably needs a cleaning of the switch. 0 0.55, 0 0.75, one, one and a half, two, three. Yeah, it has a dirty, uh, a dirty switch. Four, six, 10, 20, oh, 15. 20, 30, 50, 100, open. Yeah, very cool. I like it. All right, I think we should, I think we should look inside.
we can see how skilled this person was. If they were a fancy tech or just some guy in his garage. We like those guys in the garage though. Those guys can sometimes be pretty clever. Um, let's see here. Does this, does this let me in? I'm not quite sure. I don't see any way to do it from the top side. Oh. Okay, let's see. Yep, that's the way to do it. I gotta take all the feet off the bottom. So let me do that. All right, the secret was that I needed to take the uh, switch loose because the uh, wiring is quite tight and you can't remove the top without loosening that nut. And that's what's inside. Look at all these beautiful resistors in here. Um, so yeah, uh, soldering isn't too bad. All the same colored wire. But yeah, soldering's not bad. Uh, there's heat shrink, uh, heat shrink. I always say that. There's heat sink grease on all of the, uh, on all of these parts. And all of the parts are drilled and tapped and bolted down. So a lot of work went into that. They're kind of just every which way, but he probably didn't care. He was trying to miss, probably trying to miss the fins down on the bottom and stuff. There's this weird board in here with this, just this weird board doing in there. Why would you, why would you put that in there? It looks like he wants it in here too. Uh, it's actually, uh, sorry about that. There's actually a little thing here to hold this board in place. I, I, I don't know why you need that. Is there a hole in that? No. I don't know why that's in there. I have no idea why that would be in there. He seemed to think it was necessary. I guess just in case this ever went crash. I don't know. Very, very strange. Very, very strange choice there. Well, I mean, other than this cruddy top, uh, which I will try to fix up and the way that it was attached, which is a bit, a bit how you doing. Um, I think I will improve on that. Otherwise, it looks pretty functional. Yeah, it looks pretty functional. And uh, I like it. All right, I got it all back together. Um, and uh, I was putting the knob back on and it cracked in half, so it was getting old. So I put another uh, big knob on it this time, a little bit easier to turn. Uh, so yeah, we can see it, uh, two, one and a half, one, 0.75, five, and I, I used to, I used this, uh, contact cleaner on it, and, uh, 10, 20, 15, 20, 30, 50, 100, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty nice, and everything is, uh, like 25 watt resistors in there, so. It says 50 watts max, but I'm uh, not quite sure about that. All right, I have a big giant load box now. Very, very nice. Uh, I cleaned it all up inside. I uh, put new solder on the, ah, I cleaned up the banana plugs, the jacks over here. Uh, and uh, the soldering is a bit wonky on those. So I fixed those all up and uh, yeah. I think we are, I think we are good to go. Not bad for 20 bucks.